what you want your life uh, to be a lot rather than so much. We are on the same page. Everyone knows. Hello, welcome. My name is Obendako. Welcome, welcome. Today I want to share uh, with you developing your character or improving your character. The character that you have is like the foundation uh, of a building. If the character is strong, um, nothing can shake you. If your character is weak, no matter how tall the building is, the foundation, well, <laughs> if it's weak, uh, and it doesn't matter how how well uh, finished the, the building is. It doesn't matter the curtain walls, you know, the window. And it doesn't matter the, the, everything that you have done. No matter how many floors, if the foundation is weak and there is a bad wind, uh, that building will go down. The same with your life. If your character is not good and you don't work on it, it doesn't matter the level of education, it doesn't matter the, the power that they, they, they give you, it doesn't matter the position that they give you. Uh, one time, everyone will be tested. And once you're tested, your character will sell you out. You know, people have taken very, uh, you know, top mo top most positions. And, um, they, you know, they were found out to be, you know, they did things that they didn't have to, they didn't have to do. And, and they, they lost those positions. You know, you have seen some of these uh, people in the Olympic Games and they say that they took some drugs. Even though they, 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 they may have won, the, or they might have won the, the race, but, you know, if the truth comes out, you know, they, 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 they you know, they, what is the English word? <laughs> they take everything that they give them because uh, the character is is weak it was compromised you know and so your character is critical to you become successful and even the fulfillment in life the joy in life is highly linked uh, with character and for the little life that I've lived most people don't work intentionally to develop your character one of the things that you would have to have uh, if if you want to develop your character is uh, is loyalty it means you have to if 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 you are with this person you are with them you don't say that oh you you just met me we are discussing something uh you are saying you're a good person you are you know you're saying all the good things about me in, in, in my presence and then you go to meet another person and you're saying all the things that you will not you will not say in front of me that means that you're not lawyer you know the good thing um, the thing about loyalty is that you must be loyal to good people but if you cannot say it in front of them if you cannot defend them in the absence, um, then you don't say that I'm loyal to you. But I say that when anybody lifts you up, stay loyal to them, even in, even in their weakest moment. If anybody helps you, your parents, your teachers, you, you know your friends who were there for you when you were nothing, uh, never, <laughs> even when you think they are wrong, <laughs> defend them, because in your weakest moment, they were there for you. So loyalty, stay with what is right. Don't look back. Uh, don't turn your, your, you know, don't turn back to people who helped you, and and don't turn back to people who need help from you as well. So your character must have that. Build that. If you're a person who is loyal, you know, I'm, I'm not saying defend the wrong thing. No, there are people who are loyal to to abuse and to wrong things and defend lies. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if somebody is right when somebody has not offended you and somebody, you know, I, I used to have some people around me and in front of you, they will be very nice. You know, friends that, <laughs> you know, and they'll go somewhere and see all kind of things. And you, when you hear them, like, wow, are you okay? Those people don't have character. The other thing is that you must have the ability to, to sacrifice. You know, a lot of people want to do some things out of their convenience, out of, you know, when they are, when they are, when they are okay. You know, you have to be in a state where you can do some things for others, even though they, you, you are very much inconvenient. It takes sacrifice, you know, something that you have to go extra to do for people you care about. And that is character. If you are doing everything just out of your convenience, out of your comfort, you are not sacrificing anything. That is not a sign that you have good character. Good character is where you have to go extra mile because what is on board, what you have to help the person uh, is more important than your personal comfort. Sacrifice for something. Sacrifice for people. I mean sacrifice for the vision, for the business, for the family. The thing that you are building. That shows that you have strong strong character the other one is honesty <laughs> if it's yes it's yes if it's no it's no don't say that no i was afraid we were afraid no 
it means that your character there is a break there was a gentleman who told me something he said you put it here but when they ask you don't tell me don't tell them that i told you wow that is not good you have to be a man to say that i told you here even if my work my job is online yes tell them because the, the thing you don't know about life is that very few people are bold enough to say it as it is so you may think that they will they will, they will sack you by being honest no they will look for you when everybody else <laughs> has been dishonest so it's a special characteristics that you have you're building business let people know that you're straightforward you're honest you say the truth sometimes and when you are a person who uh, uh, is like that most people uh, may not like you but eventually yeah, it, the character is the foundation the character that you're building is the foundation Other, others will go down but your character will keep you <laughs> so don't say that you know no no if you see somebody at the workplace stealing stand up and say that i'm going to tell the supervisor i'm going to tell the boss don't say, oh, you know, you know, you know, where would that person eat? You are not helping the person. If you're a very honest person, you want people to also develop the same thing because that is the only safe safety they have. Their character, their honesty is the safety that they have. And so you need that. And you want to also be a somebody who uh, can be held accountable. You know, you are in charge of the business. If you have strong character, when they are coming to take stock, you are not offended. When they are coming to when they are coming to hold you responsible for that which you agree to do, you don't get some people will get offended just because somebody is trying to look for the very thing. They are asking for you to become accountable in that which you are responsible for, and then you you you, you get angry, you know, especially the men. <laughs> you know, your wife is asking you, where did the money go? You say, No, 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 you want to challenge me as a man, you know. Sometimes you have to be that man in any way. But uh you do so long as you have agreed. Then you have to be accountable. You can't say that I am the boss. You are not the boss. You have to be accountable. And that is a character to save you from a lot of problems, a lot of challenges as well. And you must have self-discipline. Uh, you, you must have self-control. You can't just do anything just because you think. <laughs> you must have barriers. You, are, you must have restraint. You must have constraint as well. So self-control is critical. It's needed. You can just say that you, every girl, you want. <laughs> every money you want to take. You can say no. Some people give you every money you want to take. I have a friend. Every time when he meets you, he wants to ask you for money. No self-discipline. No self-control. Just because somebody is very good with you, uh, laugh with you, uh, you know, has you have access to that person, does not mean that uh, take advantage. You must have a strength. You must say that no. If, if if I were in this situation, would that would that be comfortable? Would that be okay? If somebody else is always asking me this, the fact that you know somebody that they can help you to get something all the time does not mean you should go there. Have self control, self discipline is critical. It's part of character. If you have no self discipline and you you are always asking, you are always taking, you never say no. <laughs> Your character is weak, and that will eventually um, destroy you that will eventually destroy you. So character is key. Character is key. If you meet anybody with character, that person is going somewhere. Anybody, no matter how many cars, how many houses, how many businesses they have, it really does not matter. Because the foundation <laughs> is the character. It does not matter. They can be doing all those things for 10 years. Just one day, another bad wind will blow. Bad wind will blow against everybody. Those who will stand will be those who built on character, who have character. You know, you give check. It doesn't go through. Don't say that I'm here, I don't care. Go and call the person and say, please, I'm um, sorry. But why should you even give it in the first place if you know it's not going to go through? You owe. Don't put off your phone say that I'm not going to pay. Pay. If somebody was intelligent enough, kind enough to help you, don't look back. The bank gave you the money. You know, it went bad. But don't run away. Tell them what you can do. That is a man of character, you know. So money, your character will express in how you handle money. Your character will express in how you handle people. Mm. Your character will even, as a man, your character will also express in how you handle women. <laughs> and how you handle uh, the vulnerable. And some people, when they meet the powerful, the famous, they are very much sober. But when they meet the one that they think they can bully, there's no mercy. That's a person with weak character. So be a man. Be a person uh, who is constantly improving. It's not a journey that you can complete. It's not something that you become perfect in. But at least be aware 
that without good character, uh, whatever that I'm building, uh, there's no future for it. Because by all means, there will be turbulence. By all means, there will be turbulence. Whether in your personal health, in your personal finances, in the family health, in the business, everything is. You know, but your character is a currency. It's the best asset that you have. People will trust you because you have good character. You defend them. You're honest. You, you know, you are self-discipline. You have integrity. <laughs> integrity means it's complete. It's whole. You come up like that, you know. If if I'm going to attack my, my friend, I'm going to attack him in his absence and his, in his presence. I will not say that in his, in his presence. No, you know, I'm a very nice person. But in his absence, I'm, I'm just destroying him. There's no integrity in that. So I want to say thank you very much uh, for taking your time to watch. Work on this. Work on this. It takes time, but work on this. Because there's no magic <laughs> that is stronger than you being a person who has built uh, their lives on the truth, on character, on good work ethics. People can trust you. People can take your word. Your people are comfortable with you. You're kind. You're patient. You're compassionate. You're forgiving. You know, you have a, a forbearance. You know, you are persevering. You're consistent. Do all these things are out of your character. You know, your discipline. If you say you're going to read, you're going to study, you study. If you say you're going to do the work, you're going to do the work. You're not lazy. If you have to clean the house, you want to clean the house. We can leave our daughter with you and we'll come back and that daughter is safe. Our son can come and stay with you and that son will come back uh, more intelligent. You know, it should not just be about you. It should be about all of us.